Good morning everyone. So today we are going to talk about highlighting or spotlighting the mouse cursor. You may need it for presenting some stuff on Teams or Zoom during your online virtual meetings or you may want to record a tutorial or a learning material and for that matter you need to have uh, the highlighter enabled. So we're going to have a look at it, how you do that and how easy it is. First you need to go uh, and download Microsoft Power Toys. I'm just going to type in Power Toys. It should take me to, yep, as you can see, it has taken me to Microsoft's website. Yeah, so I'm just going to download this. You see that? It says, yeah, it's going to take me to GitHub, I believe. Yes, it does. So now here is the tool I need, Power Toys. Just need to click on it and then it will be downloaded. I'm not downloading it again because I have already installed it, but this is how you can download it and can install it on your machine. Fairly straightforward, nothing too fancy about it. Once it's installed, then you can just go to Power Toys. This is Power Toys. Just click on it. <coughs> it will bring up this window and over here on your left, you need to click on Mouse Utilities. You click on Mouse Utilities and then you will find enable find my mouse I have turned it on already and then here you can set the behavior as you can see my front spotlight is in yellow because I have selected yellow and the back is the blackish because I've selected black so this is where you set these settings yeah you can select the radius as well if you want it bigger or if you want it smaller so it's it's it, it's it's very self-explanatory once it's all done then once it's enabled and you have set up all this information, just remember, it's very important for you to turn it on for you to be able to sort of start using the spotlight feature. Once it's all done, you can just, just close it and then you need to press control twice on your keyboard. That's it, like the way I just did, two times consecutively, just hit it twice and then this will be highlighted. And as far as you are sort of moving your mouse, this spotlight is gonna be enabled. When you're gonna click on it, it's just gonna go away. So it is very straightforward, nothing too fancy about it. I will tell you one more quick thing if you don't want to use the spotlight all the time. This is called mouse finder. This also comes in handy. You go to mouse settings, you click on additional mouse options. You see that option, just click on it. And then this window will come up. This is uh, mouse properties. Now here you need to click on pointer options and just right there it's called show location of pointer when i press control key you tick that box as well hit apply and then hit ok after that and that's it now if i'm going to hit control it's going to highlight my mouse so all the time i don't really need to do the sport lighting i can do this as well at times hope this video was uh, helpful and uh, uh, please uh, subscribe like or comment if you have any questions uh, that would be really good and uh, yeah, you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.